So growing up, my parents would give my presents to my sister, my sister's presents to my brother, and my brother's presents to me. And that's the way we did Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, Internet. My name is David, and this is The Pursuit Blog. And we celebrated Christmas kind of in an unusual way. We developed this tradition early on. I don't know, somewhere my parents read about this, that uh, you, you would give each child's gifts to the other one um, and have them give the gift to each other. Let me explain. My sister would get my bag of presents, uh, my brother would get her bag of presents, and I would get his bag of presents. Now in the bag were the presents unwrapped so that when we got the bag, we could open it up and see what the other person was going to get. And what was cool about this was I got to choose what I was going to give my sister next. And we would all take time to uh, enjoy each other's gifts. Um, not play with each other, but join in the, the celebration of giving this thing to them. And it was a lot of fun. And frankly, it helped spoil me on this whole idea of I need, I need, give me, give me. That's the way I used to be. But after so many years of practicing this tradition, seeing a kid rip open all of his presents with no regard of anyone else in the room or even saying thank you in between kind of churns my stomach. And this helped lay a foundation for me to help remove us from a little bit from all of the Christmassy, presenty, me, me, me culture that we live in. And it helped us put into perspective that Christmas really was about Jesus. It wasn't about the presents. And it's not about finding true love either. Uh, no thanks to the Hallmark Channel. Christmas is about Jesus. And though it wasn't unconventional or odd, my family always had the tradition of going to church on Christmas Eve. Now, we went to church almost every other Sunday, but we would go on Christmas Eve and do the candlelight ceremony and sing the hymns and remember that it was about Jesus. Now, I know that Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. I get that. But this is the day that we celebrate his birth. Come thou long expected Jesus. Away in a major. Silent Night. Oh, the, these songs point us back to the story that, that Jesus was coming and came. And every Christmas morning before we were allowed to open presents, we would all sit down as a family and would, we would read the Christmas story to help remind each other that it is not about presents. It's not about food. It's not about family. It is about the coming of the Messiah and what that means for us. So yeah, it was a bit of an unconventional way to do Christmas, but I appreciate it and I'm very thankful for my parents instilling that in me at a very young age and carrying that through my entire life and now as I pass that on to my children. So do you have an odd or unconventional Christmas tradition? If so, leave it in a comment down below. Tell me what it is. May you have a Merry Christmas, but may you never forget the reason that we do any of this and that is the Messiah has come. His name is Emmanuel, and it means God is with us. Have a great day. God bless.